Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Deb Chanel for the Swirl and I'm Deb Chanel. <laughs> okay. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, and all my future subscribers. Without me, there is no you. Without you, there is no me. Okay? And I just want to say thank you, Heavenly Father, for shining your light on me. Yes, okay. And giving me a chance and opportunity to make friends on YouTube and to just give my opinion every day. It's so uplifting. It's so refreshing. It's rejuvenating when you can get to express your opinions on subject matters and people out there listen to you. Sometimes they agree with you. Sometimes they don't agree with you. And sometimes we just have to agree to disagree. But honey, it's a family affair over here. And when we have problems that we definitely, definitely can relate to, we try to get into it. Because honey, we finna talk about this Todd Tucker. And this video is strictly giving out and giving love on Ray Keys TV. Go check her channel out. She's hilarious. And she's pretty much like a beauty consultant. Very nice looking lady. Seems to be very nice. I just met her recently on YouTube and I mean it's just like with Kendrick Spirits. I really do like her. Okay, so go show her some love over there. Again, that's Ray R A Y E Keys K E Y E S T V. Okay, Ray's Keys Ray's Keys T V. Go check her out. Put in the search bar on YouTube and go get her uh renditions of past and present episodes where she gives reviews on housewives of atlanta and she does tear into todd tucker because she'd be like loser <laughs> did i get that right did i do that right <laughs> she'd be over there calling the brother I mean, a loser and it's just how she says it it's just comical it's, it's hilarious and i believe the only reason why she's saying it is because his demeanor and everything he does it just seems like it's just self-appointed like who goes and buys their wife um a car like that especially if she didn't really want it she could have bought it for herself and candy buys her daughter a car like that a porsche but paula gala she can't even get a Uber driver to come pick her up, okay? And I heard some people, you know, allegedly saying they've seen her ride around in a Range Rover, me and Kayla, in the streets of Atlanta, or a, a Honda Accord that's kind of souped out. I don't know if that's true or not, but it still don't compare to what we just saw Riley got her behind in, as well as with Candy. Todd Tucker called he's still spending his own money allegedly wink wink okay on buying that car for candy now how can both of them and we already know uh now he's supposed to have his business todd tucker productions but what has he done lately what has he done lately for kayla Ooh, yeah tell me what has he what has he done for her lately Ooh, yeah. We all want to know that. <laughs> we all inquiring minds want to know what the heck is he doing over there at that Burris Tucker residence over there, leaving Poe Kayla out, it, leaving her out in the sun with nowhere to go. Okay. And I'm like, can't blame Bi biological mom because she's probably done did what she could do. She probably don't make on the scale of what Candace flossing around them and showering on Todd. And Todd, he's just looking like an opportunist here, left, and everywhere. Because he want to get up there and say on TV and candy, pretty much co-signing his delirious type acts. Okay, over there talking about, well, she's a baby girl. And they so tiny. And they so small. And I don't know what to do with them. Like, when I go and try to change they, they pad, I, you know, it just don't look right. I'm like, why? Because it don't have a wiener. It don't have a little penis out there for you to partake of. It has a vagina. Okay, you need to get used to it. I'm sure you don't saw Candace all day, every day. And when did you start partaking of seeing your daughter Kayla? Did you ever change your diaper, boo? Did you ever change her diaper? I'm confused. When did you come into Kayla's life? When she became a teenager? When she got out of grade school? I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. 
I understand. Because here is baby Ace. You with him in the hospital. You holding him. And he's a small little baby. But you said you couldn't hold baby Blaze. Because she was too small. She was this. She was that. But you're holding baby Ace. I mean, is it just something with female babies that you don't get with? But you can um, cuddle and coodle and hold on to um with baby ace boys i mean first you're trying to tell ken how to raise riley but you can't even raise kayla right and these were when they were a little younger i mean child what the hell going on in your mind i think you need to take a counseling class by yourself oh by yourself with a man counseling then a female counselor so they can whip you in the shape because to me it's like you don't verbally abuse this child emotionally wise you're not giving her no love. You're not hugging on her. You're not kissing her on the cheeks. You're not embracing her. I mean, it seems like even the pictures that are shown between you two, there's like little lackluster of love going on in those pictures. But you're going to sit up there and be drinking Candace breast milk that she's feeding baby Ace. I mean, how close can you get to a child when you're getting that kind of bonding going on? You better be glad, child. Mama Joyce is like, mm. And Ken, I'm surprised that you ain't going to leave you out either. You were saying both of them are your girls. So how can you leave your girl? How can you give your girl over to your right a Porsche and then a girl over to your left that's your adopted daughter? Or well, you ain't adopted her, but she's your stepdaughter, but you can't give her name. Okay? You're leaving everything up in the control of Mr. Todd Tucker. Uh, wising th wisely thinking of what he needs to do with his daughter. I mean, do you think you're going to get that same privilege when baby Blaze start to get to walking and talking around now and you start trying to play the same moves you making on Kayla? No. And see, I call you a spade candy because if you ain't going to let him do it to baby Blaze, which is also his female daughter, why are you letting him do it to Kayla? Kayla's grown. He don't, she don't need your, I mean, he don't need your permission to give her guaps of cash or set her up in a nice apartment in new york city while she attained her um fashion license or, or maybe she need to be in school going to school to learn about fashion that would be probably the first start or better yet you know so many people you know chappelle wasn't it david chappelle not david chappelle law he's a comedian what was that man's name that he did your dress for your wedding shouldn't you be hooking them up for an externship where she can shadow him Ken, I'm so disappointed in you. And you were one of my favorites on the Housewives. But I had to pull your card because you want to say you want to be in the the shadows. You want to be in the uh, tagline. Well, that ain't my child. I had to lean to the understanding of the biological father and mother. I'm like, girl, get off your soapbox. Help that child out financially, okay? Because she's going to need it. And it's a shame to say you can be winding down. Your husband can spend half your money because that wasn't all his money. Now we know it to buy you that car. But then Kayla run around here getting scraps. You don't think she's going to remember all that candy? You don't think she's going to remember all that? Okay. Now what if you need a, a lung or a kidney or a, a, a liver and she's the right type for you but then you show her no love because you were trying to throw her out her own bedroom that she had solidified when y'all moved into the house now you're trying to throw her out because you're trying to re renovate it for baby blaze i mean who gets all the accolades baby ace baby blaze and riley and kayla get nothing now we already know todd 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 is all about himself because if he wasn't, he would recognize these things. Because I'm sure it ain't just you telling him. It's probably other people telling him. Why are you being so hard on this girl? She's a girl. You're supposed to be the protector. You're supposed to be the provider. You know how they say it's mama's boys, daddy's girls? Ugh. Where is that going? What, I mean, what's the problem, Todd? I, I really don't understand. I really don't understand you, your ways of logically thinking on how you're raising this child. And I'm getting to think, honey. I think her biological mom was raising her. Mm hmm And Mama Sharon was over there helping because you were nowhere in the picture. Yeah. What were you doing, Todd? But I don't tear it too long on my commentary or how I wanted to look at this um, particular 
um, storyline that they're trying to give us. And I'm like, Candy in a doghouse, too. I don't taped her up on the sofa, and, and I don't want to hear her talk unless she's talking with some common sense on how she's going to straighten out this issue between her and Kayla. Because it's really about between them two and what they can do or what she can do for Kayla. She don't need Tosh's permission. She really don't, cause she hold a lot of cards in a sense, and she can't tell me she letting Tara run that household over there. I know better than that. I can see your facial expressions every time you come in and do your taping on Real Housewives of Atlanta, and you go on and, and try to tell some information about or give us some type of storyline. Tara doing this, you ain't liking this, cause you definitely was for a matter of factly when he was sitting out going to the club, shake a booty club, going to the club, get his hot as on, and you didn't like it, and you stressed how bad you uh, didn't like his decision making when it came to bring bringing Baby Blaze home, and you were the one doing all the work, the late night work, while he was turning it up like it's hot, dropping bottles. Hey, dropping bottles and tossing ones up and out to the strippers, okay? You better be aware that he ain't going to be stripping somebody down now. He's going to come up with a side, baby. Then what you going to do? 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 Girl, get it together, Candy. Get it together. Okay, but let's go on into this article. Celebrity Insider brought it out for us. And Alexis Stone is over there banging them out, sending them down the conveyor belt. And then everybody who want to talk about it, use it on behalf of her. Yeah, she's a journalist, correspondent over there at Celebrity Insider. And she's writing a piece up on Todd and Candy and this situation going, what they're going through with baby girl. Kayla, okay. The article is titled Candace Burris fans advise Todd Tucker to listen more to his daughter Kayla Tucker. Why don't we get on into it? Well, I think I must. Okay, I will. Candy Burris posted a new episode about Real Housewives of Atlanta on her YouTube channel, Speak On It series. Check it out below. Okay, if you go over to in, uh, Celebrity Insider and you pull up Todd Tucker um, something about his daughter and you will see what I'm talking about. Um, and then you can read it for your own edifications and get your own perspectives or insight on how you view it. But anyway, not in the article, my side. Okay. But first, uh, second part of that paragraph, it says, excuse me. First of all, Candy announced fans that she was about to post a video on her IG account. Here's what she told her followers. The Georgia Peaches are back tonight on Bravo TV. Make sure to watch the new episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta as it is a good one. And of course, I'm posting my speak on it uh, about the episode at 9 p.m. on my YouTube page, Candy Online. I swiped this peach from James Johnsta. Okay, because if you go on Instagram, you'll find all this information I'm talking about on her Instagram account. But then the article goes over, uh, Kenya Moore gushed over the Real Housewives of Atlanta star in the comments, posting a bunch of red heart emojis. Anyway, here's Candy's video on YouTube. So you go over there and you'll see it. Okay, in the comments, people were addressing the relationship between Todd Tucker and his daughter, Kayla. Someone commented, it hurt my heart to see the convo, meaning conversation between both Todd and Kayla. It clear, it's clear she's hurt. It's clear she's hurt and he didn't seem to fully understand her point of view. No, because a narcissist is not going to understand the point of view. A person that has a uh, high self-esteem of himself and what he wants of course he's a self-lover of self so he's not gonna see it okay not ever ever never ever ever and never ever never ever ever gonna see it and that's probably why he didn't get with um uh, kayla's mom she was smart enough to dodge that bullet but hey candy bought and paid for mr todd tucker so it just goes on and the beat goes on hey He'll get his love till he's finished with candy. Oh, and the beat goes on. I gotta believe it. Still moving strong. On and on. Do you ever wonder? 
When somebody, when somebody's got to lose. Okay, I'm singing it wrong. But anyway, y'all know I'm going. It's the whispers. Get into it. But anyway, we go to where, um, back to the article. And it goes to say that cl uh, clearly Kayla's pretty hurt. And he didn't seem to fully understand her point of view. I'm sure he means well. But she's obviously feels as if she's missing something in their relationship. Love. That's what she's missing in their relationship. Love. Because he looked like he about had drunk in that picture and she's just trying to be around her daddy because he probably hadn't been in her life allegedly i don't know but it just seems like ever since sharing his mother passed because i think she had a very solid relationship with baby girl kayla and so when she died it just seemed like everything didn't bridge no more i mean i think she was the bridge between todd being in her life when mama sharon was alive but now, you know, since she's not alive, it's kind of non-existent because I'm pretty sure baby girl biological mom ain't staying tall, not one bit, not one hill of a beans and cookie catalytics, <laughs> okay? But anyway, it's bad for Kayla because she's reaching out. She's trying to be around Candy, trying to, you know, Candy staying and supporting. Saying, That's my daughter. That's my, I'm not treating her no, be uh, no better than I'm treating Riley. But yeah, you are Candy. Have you took a, taken a look in the mirror? Have you looked? At the woman in the mirror Tell her to change her ways Michael Jackson Man in the mirror The woman in the mirror Got to change her ways I said Been in it clear If you want to make the world A better place Take a look at yourself And make the change Na 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 Oh no Michael Jackson get into it Okay but yeah she gotta make that change Cad And not don't, don't put all the stuff on Todd now Cause like I said baby girl you holding all the cards You got all the coins you got all the dollars You got all the greenbacks okay You the little millionaires running around now So you can make things happen Like I said T Kayla is what 23 years old She's an adult she go to jail I mean she do some infractions That's warranted to be a felony She can go to jail Okay, they're not like, putting her in juvenile. They're putting her in jail, okay? So, technically, you really don't need Todd's permission. The baby girl is grown. Put some money in that girl financial account and put that smile back on her face. Because right now, mm, mm. Okay, but anyway, moving from that situation, going back to the article. It says another follower posted this. Todd needs to listen to his daughter. Or eventually she's not gonna want to be around him. Well, honey, I think that that ship has sailed. I don't think she want to be around him anyway. Because did y'all see last night? Well, Sunday's episode where she tried to give a conversation, a little uh, convo with her dad. But she couldn't stand to look at him. She just kept looking at Candy. And Candy was looking at Todd like, damn, you know, I don't want to be the media. I'm tired of being the media. Y'all need to talk to each other. This is a fragile situation. Woo! Need some prayer up in that camp, okay? Instead of this dungeon mess going on and him at the Shaker Booty Club, they need to be into some family ties, okay? Making it a family affair. Yes, a family affair, for it won't be a family. Okay, I'm just keeping it very real, very real, very real. So, I'm like, Kayla sitting up there on Sunday's episode looking at Candy like she half want to cry, half want to shout, half want to beat somebody in the head. You know what I'm saying? I'm mainly thinking Todd Tucker, her dad, okay, her dad. He's sitting up there like, Oh, you still mad at me? Well, hell, I would be, too. I wouldn't have been taping. I'm like, you ain't talked to me in a month? A month, bruh. You ain't got, you ain't in no financial hardship where you couldn't have picked up that phone, dial her numbers, and say, hey, how you doing? What you doing? You know, when you want to come back to Atlanta, I miss you. You know, girl, what you doing? I might have to come up there and see you. Something to that effect. Hell, fly back home, you know, every weekend. You got it like that. You got it like that. Or go up there and see her. <sighs> I don't understand, Todd. I just really don't understand where you're coming from. Why you got baby girl looking all salty at him. And the only thing she wants is your love, your attention, and just as much energy, positive energy that you give to baby ace she wants the same thing and she requires the same thing she was your first but you acting like she is your last and she just a little piece of gum under your shoe that you have to be tolerated with i mean i don't understand 
man, I really don't. You should be pushing her to be in school somewhere, learning about the art of fashion, okay? I mean, she needed to be knowing about the distribution part and how to go select fabrics for this and, and, and the other operations that go within running a show, a fashion. You see what I'm saying? But it's just like, you, you, you just too much. You like a little gutter butt over there, uh, Todd. A little gutter butt. But then you want to floss and, you know, live off your wife like it's all that and then some. <laughs> Loser. Okay. But anyway, um, going back to the article, it says... um. Someone else said, also, Candy, your stepdaughter is also your kid once you marry her dad. So it's okay to step in and have her back just as you would Riley. And see, that's what I'm talking about. This is a real G that wrote this comment. Yes, Candy, we're not letting you slip out. We're not letting you go under the radar. We're not letting you be passive aggressive saying, well, I only can do so much because he is her father. Or dad, however you want to see it. But I'm like, Candy, come on, girl. Don't act stupid. Don't act stupid. As I said, the girl is 23 years old. She do an infraction out there that requires it to be a felony sentence. She going to jail. She ain't going to juvie. Okay? So this mess you trying to play up um, this season about, well, I try. I did. Because she... Chaplin, she ain't got to see Todd no more ever, 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 ever again if she don't want to. She really don't have to because she's grown. Okay? She's grown. Very solidified in the world of working. Hard worker. Anybody work for a fast food restaurant when they're in high school trying to make ends meet? Girl, that tells a lot about her character right there. And Riley over there don't even know how to fill up an ice tray. She, she don't, I like, <laughs> we don't want to go into that. We don't want to go into that because I like Riley too. She just lived a plush life and I blame you for that, Candy. Just because you live a plush life, you still need to know if shit goes south, how to do things, you know, if you have to do them for yourself. I mean, that's just good edification right there. If you up, you know you ain't got to do all this stuff. Hide somebody. When you're down, you know you got to do it. Or this child coming back. And live on you and for the rest of the life because you haven't given her the survivor skills. You just give her, buy her, please her. I mean, just because you make good grades don't mean you lack in showing her the fundamentals of boiling an egg, cleaning out a toilet, taking the trash to the street, paying bills. Whether you use a checking account or whether she use her debit card, learn her how to balance it. Take the payroll money to the bank like a boss to one of your business for one of your businesses. Some to that agree, can damn. Okay, going back. Got me all up here in my feelings. It ain't even my job. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, wait a minute. One follower wrote, another commenter is, is chiming in. Um said Todd please don't stop talking to your daughter she needs you more than you know you are a good dad so keep it going well I don't, we don't know if Todd is a good dad we only see what he give us with Ace now he's brilliant and I don't know if that's because he's her boy and he's bonding with him that way or whatever because we ain't seen Ace we, we, we can't really tell what Todd doing out there to him he gets like in the fifth sixth seventh eighth grade you know what I'm saying then we see him in his middle school time and his high school time to see what that boy gonna act like Cause you might like act like Nene kids over there, okay? The one that's just showing his ass and, you know, doing everything to upset his mama and then make her be seen in a bad light, like she ain't do right by him, which we know she did right. He just didn't act right, okay? But moving on from that situation, um, another fan said, uh, I also have a few words for Candace hub hubby. Todd, take a moment and listen to your daughter. Listen to what she has to say. 
Uh, she's not a boy. Show her some love because she needs to feel secure from her dad. I know that's right. Because if they don't have love from a dad, what well, you think they're going to have a love from a man? No, nah, she's going to be picking like little crazy head boys like you, Todd. And going to just make her angry and mad and, and all of that. Okay. She ain't going to know the love of what a man's supposed to give. Because look how you treat Candy. Candy probably running around that house hollering day and night about you ain't doing shit. You ain't shit. Uh, you ain't never here. You ain't how you got. We're shaking in them clubs. What's in them clubs? Matter of fact, can that's what you need to be investing your money in? Go on and build you a club, Lisa Club. Have Todd be the owner, the curator, um, the the buzz boy, all of it is Todd show. Let him you know bring in strippers, have your club, have the little pole dancing going on, have your little dungeon things over there, and just see what brother man can do. Just buy him her own clubs. At least you're gonna know exactly where he at. And if you have to bring the baby down now, dress out his office in baby uh playground stuff so if you get tired yeah, just drop the babies out there you know they say because they he there he there that's where he want to be anyway at least two times during the week and he got to be making it rain because it's his own stuff that's what you need to invest in instead of putting out them restaurants the old geez and trying to make a second location you should have been buying you a club okay that's what you should have been doing and making him the owner and the operator, the CEO, or whatever name that club would have been called, and you demand to have revenue come out there for the positive. He need to always stay in the black. Since he loved being at the strip club, he loved making it rain on these ladies, and he feels better at the strip club, you should have bought him a club. Put it in put it in fruition for two, 2020. Go buy Todd Tucker a club, okay? So you know exactly where he is. He ain't at Magic City. He ain't at... Whatever other clubs we got down here for the strippers, he going to have his own and be invited celebrities down and everything else. OK, have you a nanny over there you know, watching the baby because, you know, he's going to be trying to floss and this, that and third. But at least you will know where your man at. 24 seven. At least he got them babies down there with him. OK, but anyway, tearing back to the article. It says, um, listen when and listen with an open heart and ear because she needs you. Stop being so hard on her. You have to trust your daughter's decisions. It's called life. She will learn. Continue to guide her, even if it makes, even if she makes a mistake. Other than this, Candy seems to be, uh, seems to be intro throwbacks these days. She's been posting some older songs on her social media account and she also shared a photo of herself from eight years ago that she says she still loves. Okay. All right, uh, Candy, get out yourself. Okay. It ain't about yourself no more. It's about all these kids you bringing out here in this world. All right. I know you're going through nostalgia. You're trying to go back. I know you're trying to listen to some Luther, some Shaka Khan, some Aretha Franklin, trying to get your soul right. But you need to act right, Candy. You need to act like a mother instead of a friend running around now. You need to set some borders. And since uh, Todd don't want to get on the choo-choo train of being a correct parent, I guess you're going to have to take the lead on this as well. Okay? And get uh, Kayla in some um, new digs. Uh, if you have to finance her apartment around now somewhere, do that, Candy. If you have to start her a little bank account, do that, Candy. I want to be, I want you to be known in 2020. Do that, Candy, for Kayla. That's all I'm going to be saying. Do that, Candy, for Kayla. What is she doing? Can you give me some insight of how she's faring, okay? Do that, Candy. Is she in school? Is she in that fashion fit type of uh, institution in new york what give me some playback playback i need some um what do you call it feedback i need some information on how she's doing yes it's about kayla now it's not about riley it's not about a baby ace okay and we can get somebody to definitely go over there and take care of baby blaze it's about getting kayla straightened in the mental the, the psyche because y'all are messing her up big time she's seeing all what she's doing and she getting envious and probably jealous and she just don't know what to do with it and that energy is gonna be bad i'm telling you it go either way it go either way you know her one of them kids over there because she's so frustrated and she don't know where to come where to go so i'm just saying get it together candy Get it together. Don't put it all on top because you married him. You married into the family. You said that that was your daughter. Act like it. 
do right by Kayla. Okay? Oh, I'm sure karma will come back and bite you in the booty. Okay? Okay? Okay. All right. Hopefully, y'all like this video. Up, thumbs up it. Uh, share, like, subscribe to my channel. And that's all I got. Y'all have a beautiful Wednesday. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.